this is the continuation of last two videos where already we have developed the theory behind Green's function in a very brief manner and then we have already solved the problem related to that. Now this problem I picked from CSIRnet December 2011's paper and they are also asking a straightforward question on Green's function. Treat this problem. here. The boundary value problem this one is given to you and they are asking what is going to be the Green's function of this boundary value problem already gxt gxt is f1 xt in the interval 0 less or equal to x less or equal to t here f2 xt t less or equal to x equal to 1. This is given to you in this problem and simply what is going to be the expression for f1 and f2 this is all about in the options. So follow each and every steps and you will get the correct result but one thing I would like to mention here all the options given here are incorrect. But what will be the correct answer you will immediately get after solving this problem. Fine. So follow every step. This is the differential equation and this differential equation you need to solve. I am not going uh, in the details procedure to check whether Green's function exists or not but it will come automatically if you follow the steps look at just multiply this differential equation 1 by x by 1 by x and you will get something like this and this one immediately you can express like this isn't it and just solve this one there is nothing special you can write this one as some constant and after solving you will get a by 2 x square plus b where a and b are to be determined by using the boundary conditions y0 y1 equal with 0 use this to boundary condition and you will get a b equal with 0 which will imply that y x equal to 0 is the only solution that means green's function function exists so it is the natural procedure you have just followed find Green's function will exist now to construct Green's function you need to use this expression this expression for y follow the steps here the Green's function Green's function will be gxt look at this is the format you need to use so a1 by 2 x square plus b1 in this range 0 less or equal to x less than t clear here a2 by 2 x square plus b2 t less than x less or equal to 1 point to be noted it is strictly less than and here also it is strictly less than why just for that you need to watch the previous video if you haven't watched that one clear here it is strictly same why strictly it will come later on hmm. now follow every step using all the properties look at Green's function satisfies the given boundary condition and the given boundary conditions are this so at x equal to 0 it should satisfy y y0 equal to 0 and at x equal to 1 it should also satisfy this condition okay at x equal to 0 this part of Green's function will do the work for you so a1 by 2 into 0 plus b1 equal 0 that gives you b1 equal 0 now at x equal to 1 you have a a2 by 2 into 1 plus b2 
equal with zero this condition we have used so we have this one also in our hand fine now use the second property which says that green's function is continuous what continuous continuous at x equal to t at x equal to t green's function is continuous we are just using this property here and it will give you a1 by 2 into t square plus b1 it is equal with a2 by 2 t square plus b2 and use this condition and this condition here and you will immediately get that a1 by 2 t square it is equal with a2 by 2 t square minus 1 and that is nothing but a1 t square will be a2 t square minus 1 so you have this one also in your hand using that continuity condition at x equal to t fine now we are going to use another property of green's function and that will be the last step so that property says that del z del x at x equal to t plus minus del z del x at x equal to t minus it is equal with minus 1 by p not t clear it is p not at t so del z del x whenever x greater than t you have this one so just differentiate it and you will get a2 t minus from here you will get a1 t here you will get minus t because your p p not in this case it is going to be this one this is your p not p not x and at p not p not x is 1 by x and at x equal to t you have 1 by t and just simplifying you will get a1 minus a2 it is 1 clear so all this thing you have in your hand and use this one here you will get what this and this will together imply that you have a2 plus 1 to t square it is a2 t square minus 1 just all about your calculation after that step you have a2 it is minus t square isn't it just verify it a2 is minus t square from here you will get a1 it is uh, 1 minus t square i think so a1 is this a2 is this by you have b1 is 0 and from here you will get b2 b2 it is minus in fact it is t square by 2 this one also you have so b1 b2 this is a1 a2 just verify and try to do all the steps in your own otherwise it will be totally a massacre type of situation because you are just following every steps but you are doing nothing then there is no result for you you have to do all the calculations in your own okay because if you not comfortable with the calculation then you can't solve this kind of problem in the exam because this applied part demands a serious calculation from you and it is very much required to solve this kind of problem in the exam hall so now use all this b1 b2 a1 a2 here here in the expression of gxt so you will get gxt it is look at b1 is 0 so your a1 by 2 
and you have this one so i think it will be x square by 2 1 minus t square in the range 0 less or equal to x less than t and here you have a2 by 2 and you have a2 means this one Mm -hmm. a2 means this one minus t square and b2 means b2 means t square by 2 and you can immediately take t square by 2 common and you have this kind of stuff in your hand it is t less than x less or equal to 1 and observe carefully that we have already used the continuity property at x equal to t so in this step we can immediately write here a equality sign okay so final interval is in the range 0 less or equal to x less or equal to t you have this quantity and in this range you have this one so this part this part is your f1 and this one is your f2 also observe that this is symmetric about x and t if you just interchange your x and t the position of x and t then it has no effect on that so it will in fact it will remain same thing so it is symmetric about x and t so all the properties of green's function we have used here to find out the expression for g x t and finally it is also satisfying the symmetric properties as well clear and you just observe all of your options it doesn't match with any option all the options are false.